Today, you the viewers have seen the sacrifice of modern men, of modern Scandinavians that were looking for a way to reach the gates of Valhalla. Death calls, but we do not fret death. Fight till the end of days. Fight for God and country. Fight for your place in the halls of the Never forget their sacrifice, Chet, for you witnessed their stories as the great men of Scandinavia were holding an unstoppable force. Vaslo Salto! I'm drinking my vitamin juice that looks like urine, maybe this urine, who knows? Maybe general urine makes you grow hair back. What's the matter? I'm in high fall. When I play any Scandinavian country, it's either they all want to be my friend or they all are like, let's go dummy. I love playing Sweden High for one of my favorite nations ever. But it's so hard for me to pull it off because, yeah. Check it out, Mark. Up, young man. Check it Yalla, yalla. You'll see, you'll see. I've got a people quick, boys. Quick little pee pee, man. You guys will be with each other, okay? Behave. I have to always now stand up. I have to be careful when I stand up now because, once again, I'm sending the camera footage to Marconi. And every time I stand up, my penis and balls are falling out of the side of my boxer short. So I have to always be careful now because Marconi sees my balls like 10 times a day. China player. Welcome to Roleplay, boys. Yay! I, I love Sweden. Sweden is one of my favorite nations in, in Hoi 4. I, I would love to play them more in competitive if you don't play them. Uh, in Roleplay games, if and whenever I play Sweden, they just all unite with me or they all want to kill me. And uh, I don't know where I'm going yet. I don't know where, where, what politics I'm doing yet. We're going to see, man. I just want to have fun. So, we have a Finland player. So, obviously, the battle for Arland is obviously a Roleplay issue. No Denmark, no Sweden. We have um, Grisha and Germany. We have Vasos in the Baltic. Zong China. <laughs> obviously, my biggest Roleplay should be about UK, Grisha, uh, Baltic, and Finland. Are you the best Hoi 4 player in the world? I don't think I am. I think if I would have a 1v1 tournament right now, I would lose. I would not win, which is okay. I don't want to be the best anymore. But I'm arrogant, and I would say that I'm the most influential and biggest Hoi 4 character. Like, I, I'm the Bruce Lee of Hoi 4. I'm the Conor McGregor of Hoi 4. I am the Robert De Niro of Hoi 4. Yes, I would say that. The Genghis Khan of Hoi 4, yeah. The silent workhorse of Hoi 4, obviously. The Tony Soprano of Hoi 4. The Leonardo DiCaprio of Hoi 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is that the people that are good players nowadays, they just look for exploits. They just find broken tactics. While I believe I'm the greatest multiplayer player ever because when Hoi 4 was new and there was no meta, when it was all fresh and all the old school viewers know, there was one guy who came and took it all over, man. There was one guy who played Japan every day and step by step turned into perfection, man. Like in the golden era of Hoi 4, I was the king, you know? The golden era is over, but all the old school viewers know that, man. In the golden era, man, Tommy has fucking delivered, man. Just Go to my YouTube channel right now and check the, the, the two biggest videos and you will see what I'm talking about, man. If it's meta to make a broken tactic sitting behind a river and getting 1k viewers on that like some streamers do, I don't want to part of that. I was just very competitive back then, which I don't have to be anymore, which is nice because I was like, what, what is my career build on as a streamer? It was meeting people multiplayer. If I would lose multiplayer games, I would get shit on, I would get bullied, I would lose viewers. Back in the day, I had to fight for my survival, man. I had to really just play amazingly or I would just be mediocre and nobody would watch me. And I'm actually really happy that this pressure is gone now and now i can focus on just being an entertainer you know already mope first i still like free trade free trade makes a lot of sense also i need to get the, the um press that lets you build sips faster productive press productivity hey swedish people in chat you know that every foreigner only knows you for ikea like everything i know about sweden is pewdiepie and from ikea the ceo of ikea just became prime minister actually he's assembling his cabinet <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? That's probably not even made up. That's probably real. Yeah, but Ikea is good bad. shit. My whole fucking room is Ikea. Everything here is Ikea. Everything. So many people in chat are probably looking around their room and see only Ikea, man, if we're being honest. Yo, uh, does someone have a link for Geography Dao Sweden? Did I ever see that? Did I ever watch that? I don't think I did. Okay, gentlemen, let's take a look. Let's get educated, man. I, I don't think I've ever watched this. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for being in this good episode. Good video. We learned something, tuned. man. Very long video. Good video, man. Check it out. Russia chose Tr Trotsky and already pressured me. How does Finland stand with this? Let's start role playing a bit. UK is democratic. France is communist. Russia is communist. Grisha is staying with Hitler, it seems. We don't know yet. He can still switch. I think I'm against democracy because we already have USA and UK democratic. So I might be against that. It's either fascist or king here. King can do whatever he wants and fascist has a nice focus tree. And I think I've never played fascist Sweden. I always played the king. 
We have not yet heard from the Soviet Union how we are opposed entirely against their communist system. Thus, I would be not sure that we see the aims to assist each other in the fight against communism. And non-aggression pact with Finland. So, we still have Hitler in the south. Okay, let's not be demo democratic. I also played the king already. Chat, we're going fascist, I think. Hitler is proud to announce that the last military factory is Germany was closed and army disbanded. He demilitarized. He de okay. He deleted every. <laughs> I just hope he's not trying to be funny because people always shit on him with that. Let's see what he does. Fully demilitarized Germany and deleted every mill. Okay, pacifist Hitler uh, playthrough. He might be playing pacifist Hitler. <laughs> it's, I know it's basic. I just can't come up with anything that makes more sense. I obviously have to roleplay the Alan Convention. It's just in our new fascist movement, seek to return Alan to Swedish rule. As a token friendship, I guarantee to you, sir, that I will um, stop down on this movement. Alan is finished claim. And we hope you see our friendship is true to you. I, I, I want to be friends with Finland, so I'm not going to fuck with his Alan. Importing Lithuanian grain. That's cool. That's so cool. I get population, but I lose consumer goods. But population is more important to me. So fascism is rising. I cannot detect Norway at all. Hitler passed all school and became a, fasc a pacifist oh he's getting rid of hitler he's doing democratic communist or democratic okay interesting game imagine you have a role play game and you play oh you play turkey and then you choose the kurt the kurds who I don't have focus with and then you actually kill turkey and you play kurdistan benim turk olmama istemiyorsun benim turk düğümden razı oluyorsun bu da turk kası anlıyor musun ben türküm türk 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 the UK cannot support the rise of fascism in Sweden. As such, we are officially embargoing them. Oh, I already have enemies, man. Sweden calls out the UK. They are enslaving the world with their out of the with their empire. Why we get nothing but political decisions. The policy, the he, he, who, Calling out the Hitler's death, Gurley promised to continue this mission of bringing peace to the world and will sponsor alternative energy projects. In the end, I'm the evil guy here. What the fuck? <laughs> Green Germany. And he makes a massive navy. Why do I feel like I'm the main enemy of everyone all of a sudden? Let's hope these communists make some damage, man. I fuck, I'm just chilling out, dude. Leave me alone, you fucks. Canada embargoed me too. Wow. I will need to use the communists against the Democrats. I think that's kind of what I will need to do if I want to have a chance here. I don't want to even attack Norway, okay? There's a lot of spies listening to me right now. I'm not even trying to attack Norway. I'm just hanging out, dude. I'm just, I just want to sell my steel. Very interesting game so far. Very interesting so far. The dawn of the European Economic Zone. European Economic Zone. Netherlands and France are united now. I really want them to be strong. Oh, oh, oh. oh communist Switzerland. So we have a communist blob here. Democratic UK and probably Democratic uh, Germany. Obviously, manpower is a massive issue in Sweden, but uh, in this mod, you can actually take quantity for more manpower. Let's boost the economy a bit more. I just got minus three consumer goods, factory output, another resource slot. Man, I'm building. I'm turning Sweden to a little major here, man. Dear Mr. Hasson, we, the Lowland Nations, would like to help us in time of need. It would be a great interest for the both of us if you invaded Denmark as they get in the way of both our plans. Kind regards, Mr. Risser. What communist trash is Telling me to invade Denmark, man? You're just trying to stir something up, man. Fuck that guy. I don't trust him. Why the fuck will? Why the fuck is the Netherlands telling me to invade Denmark? Let's get improved winter clothing. That's actually really ahead of time. Um. Well, you know what I need? I need uh, trade interdiction doctrines for my submarines that are coming. Um. Also, 10% efficient ten whatever the word is I'm looking for. Still going for full economy here. If you're coming there. I don't even have a faction. What faction? So I just made a faction? What? Joins the nothing. <laughs> oh, that was bugged. He just joined nothing. Yeah, what is Netherlands up to? Wait, they're going against Denmark? Hey! Oh, we have a war goal. Oh, we have a war goal. Kingdom has pushed out the Dutch. King, uh, uh, a kingdom. That looks a bit big. No, that's a different one. Baltic on taunt? So he will not go with me. So I can still, I can still join some faction. But nobody's fascist. If you had lost your original letter, we had no interest in Denmark until they got in between me and the invasion of Luxembourg. Understood. Maybe there are hidden plans to take Denmark soon. Sir, see the troubles in the mission we have come to agreement. If you manage to help Denmark maintain its independence, we will be positive about uplifting the embargo. Sweden promises the international community to save Denmark of the communist invasion of the Dutch for freedom. Unbelievable what these communists are doing, the, what the Dutch are doing to my friends in Denmark. As we've seen the treacherous attack of Denmark by the communists, Sweden believes that only a strong Swedish grip over Norway can defend the Norwegians of communist influence. Welcome home, Norwegians. Look at these politics, huh? Russia is just shitting on all of this, man. This is like an Asian Russia, which is quite interesting. I mean, if you have no Germany, this is kind of a no Germany game, which is interesting, but also Mimi. But wait, what happened with Norway? What? 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 What happened to Norway? What? 
This is a peaceful invasion of France. This is very peaceful, everybody. We don't want no trouble. It's also a very slow invasion, man. It's really taking a long time. France going against Germany? Yeah, I mean, what was Grisha thinking? France would just walk in and annex him. And then he's a puppet, and then he maybe starts playing real, but... Look at France. Wait, he just got... The... Oh, he made... They made a deal. He gets the whole Rhineland. Yeah. Can you... What the fuck is that language? I don't even know what's happening here. The Russians are coming in, but the Japanese too. And there's an Indochina and India looks massive. What's Finland up to? I wonder. And that is Norway. They are now under the full protection of Sweden. Um, well, I gotta set something up about this, obviously. And that needs to be something like this. Portugal is fighting for Brazil. The North American alliance is just chilling, probably trying something. A massive Asia war where Japan invades, but also Russia invades. Uh, India is with Japan. Uh, there's a massive Balkan war. I don't know what the fuck Italy's up to. Soviets versus Japan? I don't know. Yeah! Oh, wow. They have a big Asia war. Wow. That's quite cool, man. A good Japan player versus Russia, man. No, isn't, isn't Japan fascist? Oh, Japan is fucking communist. Oh, we're gonna have a communist Japan. Goddamn communist Japan, baby. This Russia will be a superpower. This Russia has pacified China, installs a Japanese puppet, probably installs an Indian puppet, and then is coming full west. Sweden announces to free them of the threat of Dutch invasions. Let's make Scandinavia. Invasion is going. The invasion is so important here. I am actually landing good. That means the main army has to attack first. You attack first with the support, and that's Copenhagen. And there we go. Good shit. Sometimes it's very... Uh, if you're a new player, like a new player, it's very hard to actually win in Denmark. It's not so easy, actually. Are we stepping over? I think so. And that should be Scandinavia United. Back to Stockholm, man. The Baltic Sea is ours, man. You ain't taking shit, Netherlands. You ain't gonna take fucking shite, mate. And so it is done. Iceland's still free. And I'm at, I'm at war with them. Ah, reaching them is gonna suck a bit. Back to the mountains. Where we belong. Gentlemen, here comes the greatest thing in the in this roleplay mod. The coolest thing of all. You can form a nation. Let's do Kalmar then. And there it is, boys. Unification of Scandinavia. The Scandinavian Empire. Oh, Estonia dead. Finland did that. Hey, my Finnish brother's doing well. Let's form a fucking nation of them. Uh, uh, faction. The Northern Crusade. I like this, man. I like this name. Northern Crusade. Cool name, dude. The Northern Crusade stands, baby. But we stand alone, man. Germany might shit on me. Wow, Iberia looks sick, man. That looks sick. That's like one of the most successful Spain games I've ever seen. I wonder why he didn't get Brazil, though. Oh, he puppeted it. Brazil. Look at that powerhouse of the European Economic Zone, communists. Japan, India, and China into Russian hands. And look, look, everybody has learned to roleplay. I love this. Nobody just annexes. People actually roleplay Peace Conference. Yeah, China. Okay, that's that's a strong word. Oh, my God. That's so strong. Rip Grisha? What happened? I mean, the way Grisha played, he kind of deserves to die. Okay, now we have... Okay, now we have our enemy on our doorsteps. We're building the Great Wall. We're building the great wall man i think it's only level five allowed in the rules which is fair ah grisha did everything france wanted and france still declared though it's not, I, I don't know what happened i don't want to talk man, this spain looks so clean dude. oh yeah russia's also coming from the east dude we're surrounded by commies communist communist oh ho, ho. and italy stands alone leader india has come to talk to me i mean what can he want he's gonna be against me man you shouldn't role play against me should you What a weird guest, Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru. Can you please tell Hello, me your name friend. again, please? Uh, my name is uh, Jawaharlal Nehru. This is the uh, accurate pronunciation. Please say it correctly. Can you repeat it for me? Jawaharlal Nehru. Very cool. Sorry, I must say I'm quite uh, fascinated by a communist Indian envoy coming to... Stop not, we are not, no, we are not communists, my friend. We are, we, we got freed. We are, we are still Wait, democratic. Oh, you're fucking all democratic. Oh, what's up, yes. man? Oh, you're not we a commie, still... bitch. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, you want yes, want some connection, bro? My friend, uh, I have come to you in a different case. I realize, my friend, are uh, all gone. Japan, CM, and China, all once upon a time, we were all one great Asian league, yes, a pan-Asian league. We've heard the news. But now we are no more. We lost against the Soviets. Communism is coming. They are growing. To our sweets. Communism is one, there isn't two. On my southern okay. border, the German communist puppet threatens me. And on the east, my Finnish borders are threatened by the Russians. It's all the same to us, sir. I would like to come to you with a proposition, my friend. A sort of, we can't, we can't form one faction as the UN rules would be breaking it. But however, 
I would like to propose a defensive pact of our nations. Or an uh, offensive pact, even. If one of us goes to war, we all go to war, my friend. Is, is, is this with one of the communist nations specifically? Communist nations. We will never go against democratic nations at the moment. I already made a deal with the North American uh, Federation to work together, and we have no problem to make a deal with your faction called the Baltic Entente. Man, you're truly a Baltic man. Right, um, we tried to change the name, but it didn't work. But we will obviously sign a pact with your faction against the communist threat. We can't fight each other when the greatest enemy of all time stands on our doorsteps. And the fact of the matter is, uh, well in the wars God to come. help us all. Whatever, whatever God you believe in, God help us all. Because these communists, I've taught the them before. I, I was on the front line. The one true was, God. Uh, one true God who? His name. Ramakrishna? His name. Okay, thank you. Yes, Ramakrishna. Don't answer the question. Knock, knock, knock. Hello? When it is, is me, Sven Lindholm, coming all the way to you, Mr. Mackenzie King. I'm calling you here today. This is a uh, phone call for the new transatlantic line of Greenland. I'm Greenland yeah. I just came to tell you, as representative of your faction, which you have been for a while, that Sweden is massively rich in equipment, and that if, in case of war against communists, one of your nations is in dire need of equipment as artillery, motorized support equipment, etc., Sweden will be willing to sell or even just lease equipment. I guarantee you that we are not short of equipment with the US. You know, we are the powerhouse of the world. Well, you will have to prove that in the coming war against the Red Race, sir. We will, we will. And you wish a great fortune in this war. So my main army is hidden in here. Nobody knows where it is. Nobody can see that. This is a fucking big army, man. This is, this is God mode infantry, man. Oh, man, he's up there. Dude, Finland has nothing. Finland, is that all? Scheiße, eh? That's, oh, God, he might need me. Sir, finally, after all these years, we meet Mr. Per Evind Svinhuvud. Yes, well, the political situation in our country is it, complicated. He's not the person we normally consider our country leader, but yes. Oh, yeah, you're still democratic, kind of weird, yeah. Sir, I yeah, come here today it's, it's a bit to finally meet you to see that a massive uh, militarization on your border has happened. And uh, Swedish information tells us that the Finnish army looks rather thin. So I come here today to ask, are you in need of military and supply? Support, sir? We we have no need for supply support, no, but the main problem that we're facing is that the amount of men that mm -hmm. we can count on in a war is simply too small to properly defend the well, at least you have the manpower from Ireland, right, sir? Yes, all 60 people. Sweden stands with you, don't worry. Thank you. Wait, I'm muted. Oh. Hello? Hello there. This is an assembly of the Northern Crusade seeking uh, entrance to the war room of the Northern American allies. Are we allowed to enter? Uh, yes, yeah. you are. Brothers, I know we stand on different uh, ropes politically, but we think it would be beneficial if uh, everybody sits together in the war room to discuss military actions. There's not much to discuss, but sure. I shall stand ready. Maybe Americans when the time comes, you can uh, cool. cooperate these times with the Northern Crusade, so we are also ready to pressure the communists from the north. Probably yeah, I feel like the more we wait, brothers, the more the communists take over. Warsaw has red flex on it soon. Every nation is falling one after another. If the North American alliance doesn't step foot into Europe soon, we're all going to speak Lenin soon. Yeah, Russia might be the big winner at the end. Ready for the grand? It makes sense. Russia did a great play here. He won this war. He's creating... He has literally Asia under control, man. Do the Swedish... Does the Swedish... Sorry, the Scandinavian Empire have a strong enough army to hold against the German border? I should have. The problem is truly... We're just running out of time. The more time we wait, the more the communists kill everything. Okay, oh, here we go. The proud, uh, no it way could in the north and in so could what be what nice. Is, I bring his tanks up though, those tanks are coming up. Uh, oh, they're d -day. but they're just getting shit I on my tanks. Tank the problem is always you can have yeah. the funniest we'll roleplay game ever. Tanks yeah. just always win. I mean, I'm going to count just fine. It's got mediums in Amsterdam now. I'm going to just fine. Fuck it. Fuck it. Surprise, surprise. Surprise attack, surprise attack. Get ready to die for Valhalla. I am ready to die. Yeah, no, brother, that's insane. No. Come on, come on, Finland. Finland. That's insane. Come on. Okay, we need to go back to him. It's actually pretty. Oh, quick and circle, quick and circle. That's the goal. Quick and circle. He's gonna call tanks though. Getting quick kills in the north yeah, will be a little, at least a little win. But the allies are doing great actually. He accomplished uh, something. So you know, he's yeah. trying to run yeah, out of let's take, let's look at Oh god, there are six Russian heavy tanks. Oh god. There are six Russian. Oh no. It's in on Finland, another area. In Finland, man. These tanks are. Ooh. Dude, the speed Dude, I can't is so anything, bad. Man. 
Finland needs to attack this guy or this guy. We could easily take this man. Do anything oh, else. he's falling apart. Dude, yes, infinite heavy tanks. There's no way we're gonna beat this. Well, this uh, no, we're fucked. Fucked. no, we're fucked. <laughs> GG, man. It's always the issue in the end with these games. The, the tank player will always just destroy you. Bro, I mm. gotta fucking run, man. This Find is Well, I prepared that wall, man. I prepared the wall, man. You can hold I think I'm allowed to go to up to five. Maybe, maybe I should have the balls that when I play a minor like Sweden, I actually choose to... I mean, nah, it's, it's, it's a vice. I'm thinking, ooh, should I do tanks too? I'm not gonna kill fucking 12 heavy free Russian tanks. Welcome to the wall of yeah, Game of Thrones, baby. Four? Opening out the front. I mean, Kingdom of Italy is doing nothing, man. Kingdom of Italy should oh, totally to help you, man. He, she needs to fight the commies, man. Like, what is he doing? Of, um, Yo, yeah, like, come on, on man. Jesus Think? Christ. All spamming like <laughs> What is attacking me even, man? He's just shitting on me. I'm gonna do one final try with the Northern Vikings, man. I'm trying one. Oh, he just called the tanks. Okay, oh, okay, oh, Russia. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did sorry, I tried. I sorry. Oh, yeah, you bring. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Fuck me. Five more heavies in Arland? I don't know. How many heavies do we have, Russia? Yeah. Hey, these are the sorry. moments where you see what the fuck is a, is, is a miner gonna do against it. What if I do this? You, you How do you break that, that dude? You can't. You can't just break that. Just, fuck off. Yeah, it just fuck off, mate. That's not good. I'm not getting any supply now. I'm actually dying. This guy's putting all his tanks together. It's, it looks so juicy. To take, right? Way too much to play, but it looks so juicy pocket. to take also, how he puts trained, everything fully. together, dude. And I'm stronger than I think, maybe. Maybe I'm stronger than I think. Come on, I'm using rangers against basic infantry, and it, he, he has trash. This is Hoi 4. He doesn't even use good infantry. I have the best uh, infantry of all times with literally force bonuses. And they still have issues, man. And how many fucking Russians are up here? My damage doesn't even matter. I just pushed out I his heavy tanks, man. That. Literally pushed out his heavy tanks. I'll try. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight you, man, Sweden. I'm gonna fight you. I caught them again! I caught them again! Come on, I'm catching all this oh, bullshit, man! Down. Promise Russia has infinite empower. What the fuck am I gonna do about this? Okay. I kinda lost my wall, but I wanna fight. A beautiful defense here. Can you retreat uh, this fleet over here? Sweden will die soon, man. You guys are gonna do something. We're trying. Just I'm actually killing uh, eight French tanks. He landed 17 divisions and have submarines and he's not attritioning. The tanks landed even though I have full submarine support, man. And you have a full fucking Russia on your doorstep over here, eh? But I could still end the game with killing a shit ton of tanks. We are, we're gonna die, but I'm gonna pull a lot of fuckers with me, man. First of all, we just killed a shit ton of French tanks. The allies are taking too long. Look at that kill, man. Oh, even more invasions now. Man, we just killed six fucking tanks. We just shit on Perrin's tanks. Whatever happens, we killed so many tanks. And now the Spanish fleet, the German fleet now. Whoa, that's just too much, man. And then I have to fight these fucking heavy tanks. And now it's just a Slovakian tank. How much more fans do I have? Holy shit, man. Yeah, you better fucking run, Denmark. I will, at least I will die in Valhalla. Look at him running. Look at them running. Finland over here. Come on, Finland. Finland, you gotta do that. We killed a lot, though. We did a lot of damage, man. We truly deserve Valhalla here, man. We're gonna die like men. Dude, allies, come on! Come on, allies, man! I'm holding so hard, boy. Ah, we lost our first guy to Valhalla, man. Valhalla, man, we'll never forget you. Never give up, brothers. Earn yourself, Valhalla. Good job, Finland. Earn yourself, Valhalla. The way we killed these tanks there from Bruin was quite insane. Yeah, the game is late to death now. Oh, come on, boys. I, it's a, what a battle, man. People just have infinite tanks, dude. I can't even retreat in time. They just saw too quick. They're, they're just walking. They're walking through my own home country like it's nothing, man. That That is quite bullshit, man. The whole fucking Dutch fleet, man. They, oh, man, dude. Are we prominent today? We are very famed today, man. Everybody wants a piece of us. I held all of Russia alone, boys. Come on, get something done. You kill tanks, I kill tanks. Come on, man. We, literally, literally, France has like endless tanks. That so sounds, many tanks. That doesn't sound nice. There's not much we can do here. We <laughs> died like fucking okay, men. Nothing to be ashamed uh, of, everybody. Today, you, the viewers, have seen the sacrifice of modern men, of modern Scandinavians, that were looking for a way to reach the gates of Valhalla. Death calls. But we do not fret death. Fight till the end of days. Fight for God and country. Fight for your place in the halls of the forefathers. Never forget their sacrifice, Chet. For you witnessed their stories. As the great men of Scandinavia were holding an unstoppable force. 
killing thousands in the process. 400,000 Russians, a sacrifice given to the free folks of the earth for them to beat the menace that is communism. I can't observe you saying it's a glitch, man. I don't know why it's glitch. I man. We literally fought a fucking, pretty fucking big superpower, man. Never forget these brave men. Never forget these brave men. We held. We held. So the allies you can push. Long. And it's actually quite interesting that our sacrifice actually it must have helped with this D-Day stuff. Russia couldn't join. We killed current tanks. We kept off the Dutch and the Germans. Oh, well, I'm sorry, you're, you're, from, you're racist. What is that? Okay. I think he's letting me live as communist Sweden. We didn't no, reach Valhalla, we just became communist. No, no, if you press down, it's fine. Like the communist same goal. Like, it will stay the same. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is, it is done. India this, held, this Sweden held, fucking like, all these areas held, man. But we India all, at the end of the day, died no, to communism, also, you know? Soviet. What? Man, Russia just shit on the whole planet, man. He just shit on the whole planet. Don't forget the sacrifice of these brave men. Don't forget it. What they have done, man. These brave, brave men.